in this screencast video lecture we are going to see about the classification of the vertebrates mainly the five classes of the vertebrates we are going to see in detail all the animals in this particular group have developed the vertebral column as well as they found to possess the internal skeleton there are over 66000 species of vertebrate identified under phylum chordata till date the defining feature of this vertebrate is that their bodies are bilaterally symmetrical, coelobic, triploblastic and they found to have a complex differentiation of the body tissues and organs. That is higher order organ systems are commonly found here. The other characteristic features of the vertebrates are the presence of true vertebral column and internal skeleton with Muscle attachment points for the body movement is present in these members. A front side muscular heart with two, three or four chambers have been present. Kitty is an organ here that carries out the excretion and osmoregulation. A pad appendages which may be functions as a fins or limbs in this organism. All the organism possess a notochord mainly during the embryonic stage of the life cycle which further develops into the vertebral column in the later stage of the life cycle. Vertebrates are the only chordate found to possess brain as a part of the central nervous system. The following are the main classes of the vertebrates that include Pisces which contains fishes, Amphibia the name itself says it contains amphibians such as the frogs, Reptilia which contains the reptiles, lizards. And the next one is the aves which contains the mainly the birds. And the last one mammalia which includes the mammals. Now we look at in detail about the each class. The first one is class Pisces. They are aquatic animals having a streamlined body and a pair of fins which are used for propulsion as well as movement of the organism. Fishes are mainly coming under this category and they are all basically cold blooded in nature. But the discovery of a new species in 2015 has changed this perception. That is, Opa or the moonfish is a fully warm blooded fish which is capable of regulating its body temperature. Endoskeleton may be cartilaginous or bony in nature and the respiration is mainly carried out through the presence of gills. They do not possess eyelids because the surface of the eye is to be kept moist all the time. Example for the species under this category are dogfish and rohu. The next class is Amphibia. They usually comprise those organisms which are cold blooded in nature and they require an aquatic habitat mainly to lay their eggs. These organisms are mainly characterized by two pairs of limbs. Smooth and moist skin is present which plays the role there in the respiration. They also possess protruding eyes which are protected by usually more than one pair of the eyelids. Example for the organisms here are frog, toad and salamander. The next class is Reptilia. It comprises of those organisms that are ectothermic in nature that is cold blooded organisms. They are found to characterize by presence of osteoderms that is the bony plates that forms into scale like structures on the skin surface. Reptiles also lack an external ear and some reptiles such as snakes are actually deaf in nature. Instead, they pick up the vibration that have been happening there in the ground during their movement. Another amazing sense that only snakes possess is their thermoception ability that is able to sense the temperature that is increase or decrease in the temperature. This means that snakes can see infrared radiation emitted by the other objects or prey. Here the organism that comes under class Reptilia includes tortoise, wall lizards and snakes. The next one is a class Aves. Most members have a streamlined body specially designed to offer a lower resistance during the flight. In such birds, the forelimbs are modified into wing structure that helps in their flying. And the power of flying comes there from the breast muscles. Feathers play an important role from flight thermal insulation to waterproofing of the skin surface. All members of this class are warm blooded animals and they are thus able to regulate their body temperature. Aves have beaks 
which can be used for various functions such as a preening and feeding. Furthermore, birds are considered as to be living relatives of the dinosaurs that have been evolved from a group of meat-eating dinosaurs called as theropods. The organisms that comes under this class includes parrot, pigeon and duck. The last one is the class mammalia. Here these organisms are distinguished from the other organism with the presence of mammary glands. They have two pairs of limbs for walking, grasping, swimming and flying. The limb digits are provided with claws, nails or hooves. Skin is covered by hair and they have an external ear called as a pinny. They are warm-blooded in nature. Example for the organism under this category includes monkeys, lion, bat, squirrels and human.